what's up guys, it's Captain Firefox, and we are here in what I'm hoping will be a new series that has to do with the Odyssey. Uh, basically what I'm looking to do here is kind of break the fourth wall, kind of interact with you guys more than just in the comment section, and to kind of show off the ships that I've built in a little more detail than what you get in the, in the series. So, we're going to start off today with the Hawk, it's the most recent thing I've built, so I'm the most familiar with it, I'm going to have to go back and look over it. And it's a small ship, so it won't take that much time, so I can kind of lay out there what I want this series to be. So, what I'm looking at here is uh, basically uh, we're in my creative world where I build all this stuff for the series. Uh, anything that you see me make with a blueprint uh, in the series is made in creative and then uh, transferred over via the, uh, the projector into the series. Now, you need to excuse my voice. I got gassed on a SWAT scene last night and my, uh, <laughs> my voice is still recovering from all the gas I had. So, anyways, back to the ship. I guess we'll start off with the ship, and then we'll get into the, what's going on in the series. This is a multi-purpose ship. The idea behind it is it can go from space to atmosphere without the use of hydrogen. And so far, it's worked pretty well. Uh, as long as you're not stopped at a dead... You're not moving at all right at the, the edge of the atmosphere. You should have enough thrust to carry you through that little zone where neither one of the engines work very well. So, yeah, I make fun of it in the series because it drives like a freaking bus, and it drives like a freaking bus. <laughs> it's really bad. The thing takes forever to start and stop. Uh, it turns fairly well. Let me hop back in here. There's plenty of gyroscopes on it. It turns well. It's just, it's just slow. Uh, see, just burn for a little bit there. Let's see, we got up to, I think up to 20, so it's done. And the game freezes. Awesome. There it goes. So as you can see, it's slowly slowing down. It's got two, four, six, eight, at least ten engines facing forward, just from where I can see. I think I have some additional ones on the bottom. Maybe yeah, there's more back there. So I've got fourteen small thrusters facing forward and it still can't stop. So it's not a fighter at all. Um in reality, you can see the station we built over there in the distance. Yeah, got to cut that out. Anyways, yeah, it's not a fighter by any means. It is sluggish, but it looks good. And for, for the series, that's what matters. It just looks over function, I guess. Um, these guns on the front here, they uh, they're a mod. I'll have them yeah, go ahead and list the mods right here for what's in in here. Got the Star Wars mod for the turrets right here. It's listed up there. Uh, not the turrets, the cannons facing forward. I'll, I'll shoot those off here in a second. The turrets are from the UNSC Halo mod. And also these little emblems all over the ship. Those are also from that mod as well. And then we have the small ship mega mod pot. Mega mod pack. There we go. That allows me to use the, the hangers and the, uh, you'll see it in a minute, the, the flight control seat in the back. And finally, I have a small uh, hyperdrive jump drive unit on here as well. So that runs out the mod. It's not real mod heavy, but they are you know, pretty important to the function of the ship. If you want to do this in vanilla, you'll be able to do everything uh, except for the jump drive. You can use the regular turrets on here. They work fine. You might have to make a few adjustments with the connectors. But uh, originally, this was connected up to fit the, the non-modded turrets. And for storyline purposes, we put the the other ones on here. And you can just replace the front uh, blasters with the regular Gavin cannons and you'll be fine to go. Uh, the only problem is these, the only thing that's not piped up in the ship are the, the turrets and the, the cannons in the front, excuse me. Uh, and that'd be easy to fix behind it because you got all the piping going to the turrets. So it would be an easy fix. I just, I forgot to do it when I was building the ship. Didn't realize it until later. So that's it for the mods. That's all there is. Pretty easy. And the reason these uh, these turrets are on these little pods that stick out like they do is that you couldn't fit them anywhere else on the ship without the, the hitbox, which is considerably larger than the uh, than the turret itself, kept getting hit by the by the thrusters over here, and then you couldn't land it on the landing gears, which this does have landing gears just hidden. I like to, like to hide my landing gear so you can't really see it from the outside. You're looking hideous. So that's why those those turrets are on the pods like that. 
Uh, you know, I didn't like it when I first built it, but it is uh, it's quickly growing on me aesthetically. And you can see I got the, uh, the atmospheric thrusters. They they work fine in atmosphere. I was concerned because clearly there's there's nothing in this world where I build it. There's no planets or anything like that to test it on. So I didn't get to test it until we did a uh, we actually filmed this uh, episode four. So it works, yay! <laughs> and these engine pods, man. I just started slapping crap on there, and I really like the way it turned out from up close and from afar. I, I think they look fantastic aesthetically. And I don't usually leave things exposed like this, especially with the thrusters, the atmospheric, and the, uh, the ion thrusters. I usually don't leave stuff exposed like that. You see it all over the ship. There's parts exposed, which is very unlike me. But uh, I really like the way they look. They turned out. And yeah, as you can tell, I have uh, some other gyroscopes that are buried in here, but the ship didn't turn at all whenever I first took it out. It was just it was terrible. So uh, I had to top these on here. And again, aesthetically, I think it looks cool. And <laughs> these things right here, this is what interior lights look like when you put them on a small ship, I guess. The uh, the lights that are on the inside stick out like that. Again, I think it looks cool, so I'm not, I'm not at all mad that it glitches through the mod like that. It's got the, this is the only uh, forward thrust you have in atmosphere. Uh, so the ship, again, is very sluggish in the way it moves, both in, uh, sorry, I think my cat just flew across the room running away from the dog. Anyways, so you can see I had to add these, these thruster pods down at the bottom just because the ship was so sluggish. I tried to uh, give it a little more maneuverability. And it's not, it's not unflyable, it's just not as quick and nimble as I like ships to be. And you can see hidden in here is my jump drive, which is modded, which you can see earlier in the video. The list. Um, originally, when I built it, I just had batteries, four batteries, two on either side, and uh, totally forgot about the jump drive. And luckily, it was the mod looks like it was built on the batteries. Uh, I don't know size, block, I don't know how modding works, but it's the same size as batteries, so it worked out really well. So they can put it in there. Let's open the door here. And also, if you don't have the small ship mod on here, uh, you won't be able to use these these hangar doors. God, that's loud. So, without that mod, you're just going to have this opening here. Which isn't the end of the world, um, but, yeah, I like, I can't stand having holes in my ship, so I don't know how you get around that. There's the lights that I was talking about earlier. And the flight seat that again you need the mod back for. Now I do realize that uh, that I have these in here. They were put in by accident, but I like the way they look. They kind of look like uh, vents almost of some sort. And down here you can see I have a few small reactors that you could uh, load in survival, but you'd have to do it manually. So those aren't piped up to anything. You actually have to manually load them. And the gravity generator. Again, I think that's something that's mod. I don't think that works in vanilla. It's been a while since I've played in vanilla, so not 100% sure. And down here, you can see these small shields, which, oh, that's another mod I need. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll put in when I edit this on the list. So, that's the, uh, that's the, the tour of the ship. Not much to it. Got my cargo container here that's uh, hooked up through everything. And there's, a, there's also an oxygen generator, and I think an oxygen tank, too, since this is so long. Plenty of room for it under there. So you don't have to worry about uh, filling up. Got my antenna up here. I uh, like the way that looks actually with the new, the new, the new, I don't know, the graphics update. I like the way that looks, how it's kind of tilted up like that. It's nice. Something to put at the front of the ship other than just a block that's right there or a spotlight because it's just been done too much. So that's the Hawk. Not really sure why I named it that way, but I like it. So, now about this this little offshoot of the Odyssey that I want to do, uh, I've been getting a lot of a lot of repeated questions in the comment section, and I know not everybody reads the comment section, so not everybody's getting the answers that that I give out. So I kind of want to use this this series as a way to break the fourth wall and talk directly to you guys. So in the comment section below, any questions you have about the Odyssey or about my channel, about me, anything like that, ask away, and I will answer them all in the next video. But for this one right now, I'm going to go ahead and answer some of the questions that have uh, been frequently asked. Um, as far as the voice acting, 
Yes, I realize that I am not Brad Pitt or Tom Cruise, and I cannot act as well as they do. But uh, I, I think, I like to think anyways, that it's getting better the further along we go. So, yeah, I, like I said, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I'm a cop. <laughs> so forgive the acting whenever occasionally it sounds like I'm reading, because guess what? I'm reading. Which leads me to the next question that's been frequently asked. Yes, it is scripted. Um, I write the scripts about a week before the, the videos come out, and uh, Fire, who is my in real life brother, as long as well as brother in the series, uh, we get together when our schedules allow to, to film everything. And usually I'll uh, get my son to help out as extras and uh, moving drones and bad guys and stuff like that. So it's a collaborative effort, but it is uh, just the three of us that do everything. Uh, as far as the voice acting uh, characters, who they are, I play everything but um, Fire's character, of course, and Key. Key is voiced by my fiance, which um, I think she did an all right job. I enjoyed her. And she'll be making a comeback uh, in the next episode, too. Um, as far as all the Supreme Leader, the Commanders, the, all the Admirals for the DNC and all that, that's me talking, and it's uh, synthesized through a voice program. Uh, couldn't pronounce it off the top of my head right now. I have to look it up to see what it is. Uh, hopefully I'll put it in when I edit it so I can give them some love. It's, uh, it wasn't free, but it wasn't crazy expensive, so if you're looking at making a uh, series yourself. It's a, it's a very good tool to uh, if you don't have a lot of voice actors to kind of give you some variations. I understand they're not the, the easiest thing to understand all the time. I try to enunciate very well when I when I play the characters, and I do apologize that it's not always super clear. I, I know in season one when we first started it, it was real rough, um, but that was more audio mistakes on the editing part. So hopefully it's not, not a big of an issue anymore. So I feel like I have rambled on long enough. This will just be a quick little little showing of the Hawk. Uh, when I get into the bigger ships, I'll spend more time showing them off. There's a lot more to show off in those than this. This is just basically a big fighter. But uh, yeah, that's it. Make sure you leave any questions you got in the comment section below. If there's a specific ship you want me to do next, uh, please let me know. And I will be glad to show that off. Uh, there's there's so many that I want to show, but I haven't introduced them into the uh, into the series yet, so I can't I can't bring them out. Uh, you, you've seen some of them in the in the trailer I did, and uh, probably in the intro of this video if I get around to doing that before I put this out. So I can't wait to show those off to you. They're, they're really really intricate ships. They do a lot more than this thing does. <clears throat> Excuse me for my voice again, but I uh, can't wait to show those to you guys. So in the comment section below, any questions you have, anything you want to see, let me know, and I'll be sure to get to it. Thank you all for the support. It's been overwhelming how much this channel's grown in the last few months. I went from nothing to a little bit <laughs> very quickly, and I am super excited to continue growing, and the Odyssey is not going near anytime soon. I'll be doing that until, quite frankly, the story runs out, and then I'll probably start up with a new story, because I'm having a blast with this. So, that's it for me. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Cat Mark.